Today on the Printosaurus, we're going to revisit uh, one of my tips and tricks, variable layer height. We're going to discuss this in a little more detail on how it could benefit your prints. So if you're looking for your layer height limits, this is a quick uh, screenshot of how to find it. And here you can see that uh, adaptive layer height uh, icon that we're going to be clicking on. So clicking on that little icon to the right of the printer and then clicking on the extruder tab, you're going to again see those layer height limits. And so the default minimum is 0 0.08 and the default max is 0 0.28. We're going to work within these ranges. We're not going to change anything here, but you could if you wanted to. Um, but for this example, we're not going to mess with that. So clicking on Slice, I'm going to show you here um, what this Lego head looks like uh, with no adaptive layer height. It takes about three hours to print, and as we zoom in here, you can see what looks like steps or notches at the top of the print. So variable layer height is going to help us eliminate this. When you slice something, the layer height is consistent throughout the print. Variable layer height allows us to change the minimum and maximum within those limits uh, to smooth out objects, to remove those steps, notches, whatever you want to call them, and make your print look better overall. So you select your object and you click on variable layer height. And here you've got, uh, we're going to reset everything, and here you've got, uh, you know, ranges to play in. So if you drag that left to right, you can set quality or speed uh, and you can also smooth out you can smooth the radius um, so we're going to start right in the middle and then we press adaptive and then this is going to automatically make adjustments here based on that number that you inputted or drug um, that little arrow to so you can already see that those steps or notches there at the top of the head look a lot better they look smoother so when we slice this and zoom in you're going to see uh, those notches are a lot closer together, and that's that transition. That is what's going to make your print look better because those areas, the layers are smaller, so it's not going to be as pronounced as it was with all the layers the same height. So here we're just playing around with the smooth setting just to show you what that does. That just smooths out that radius a little bit more. You can click this as many times as you want, and it's going to continue to apply. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit reset here. And as again, you can see uh, those notches on top of the print. So on the right side of the screen, you can individually adjust your layers. And that's what that little yellow highlight is. It's showing the layer that you're on and you can make adjustments there. If you click the mouse button once, it's going to lower your layer height in that region. If you hold it for an extended period of time, it's going to continue to lower uh, those areas that you are dragging the mouse up and down on. So if you want to, you can individually adjust layers or you can adjust just one small region of your print if you need to without using the automatic feature. So what we're doing here is we are adjusting just that top where those notches are. And the longer you hold it, the lower the layer height. If you hit control, it's going to increase the layer height and it's going to turn orange to indicate that. I'm using a Mac, so those are the hotkeys that I use. And then if we slice this with those ranges higher, you can actually see there how far apart uh, those layers are. And it really, makes that uh, notch area um, or steps uh, really look, um, I think, more drastic, so really more pronounced. And then really what you want to do uh, with your adaptive layer height is remove that, and it really improves the quality of your print. It really improves those transitions. It makes uh, everything just look smoother. It looks a lot nicer, especially with spheres, circles, anything that needs um, you know, or has a radius that needs to be smoothed out. And it really doesn't add too much time. It's a lot of times it takes away uh, two, three, four minutes. So here as we zoom in with that adaptive layer height setting, um, you could see that the layers are a lot closer together, which is what makes it look a lot smoother. 
And again, the green is where your layer height is lower. The white is where your layer height stayed the same. And the orange is where your layer height increased closer to those maximum uh, settings that I showed you earlier, the maximum and minimum. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I hope this video helps.